following scenes include inaccurate information on Cahokian clothing. Also note that as Helene is changing jackets, she also changes characters. Hi, welcome back to another episode of Time Travels with Christine. Today we will be traveling to a kingdom called Cahokia, when it was at its peak, back in 1050 CE. Now a little background on Cahokia. It was a series of city-states located across the Mississippi River in current day St. Louis, Missouri. To the backyard to find out if we was one of those ratty boys. Stood there with my neighbor, Cal Peter, in a flat scar passer. He told me he built a time machine like one in a film I've seen. Yeah. He said, I've been to the year 3000. Where am I? Wow. I'm already here! That was fast! So today, I'm going to be interviewing different people to see what the culture is like here. Hey, what you doing? Hi, I'm planting my corn crops for the season. Are you growing all this corn for just you and your family? No, some of it goes to us, but most I trade with other city dwellers like artisans and religious leaders. Why are you working on the crops all by yourself? Doesn't your family normally help you? Well, they're helping build a new mound for the chief. Oh, that sounds interesting. I might have to take a look at the mound for myself. Can you point me in the right direction? That way. Thank you. Nice meeting you. What are you doing? I'm building another mound. Oh, I passed one of those on the way here. What do you use these mounds for? Different reasons. Some kids play chunky on them, but this one's for the old chief. Oh, that's a big mound just for one person. I mean, with the chief, other citizens are sacrificed and brewed with him because he was so important. Well, that's cool. Um, can you point me in the right direction of a nearby priest? I must be on my way soon. Yes, over. That way. Thanks. Hey, can I speak to you for a few minutes? Yeah, sure. What you need? I want to learn a little more about Cahokian religion. Well, we have religious festivals annually where people come to dance and pray to the gods. Our religious beliefs have merged life and death with the movement of the stars. Oh, really? I never knew. That's so cool. Yeah, well, we have religious beliefs. The most common one is human sacrifice. Mostly women, though, for some reason. Oh, well, thanks for your time. I must be getting home now. Bye! Wow, Cahokia sure is a mysterious place. That was quite a fun adventure. So, connecting this episode back to last episode where we traveled to Mombasa, I've learned that East Africa is similar to Cahokia in that they're both run by decentralized monarchies. However, I've also learned that they're quite different in that Mombasa's culture is mixed of Arabian, Persian, Indian, Chinese, and Bantu cultures, while in Cahokia it's simply just Mississippian culture. Well, that's a wrap for this episode. Join me next time when we travel to Timbuktu.